hello, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Welcome, 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 I say, to tonight's program. One hour of superb, scintillating information, education and entertainment in the company of my good self, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, here for you, saying dinky-doo. And uh, I hope all of you are well. Remember, we are a global talk show, and tonight we welcome our viewers and listeners from Great Yorkshire Radio. So if you're on Great Yorkshire Radio's Facebook page, you should be able to see Scotty McClue. We interact big style, so get interacting as much as you possibly can. Good evening, Scotty, says Ron Stewart. Good evening to you, Ron Stewart, and a very, very warm welcome. A warm welcome to all of you. If you didn't catch me just at the start there, it's me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, and we're broadcasting live on Facebook Live for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. I hope you've had a great week. This is Sunday, the 25th of June. It's just gone 10 o'clock. We have to finish at 11 o'clock sharp, and we have lots to discuss. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Andy McCrory. Gary Crossan, hello, Scotty. What's on the agenda tonight? Well, <clears throat> quite a lot on the agenda tonight, I have to tell you. Alfie's here, Scotty, says Alfred James Wright, and Julianne Scott is with us, Dinky Doo. What's the topic, mate? says Louis Faber. Now, Louis Faber, um, I have to caution you. You're under caution for calling me mate, because the topic tonight is... Should we ban the word mate? So there you are. Scotty, can you say hi to my wee girl Robin? Says Joanne Menzies. Little Robin Menzies. R-O-B-Y-N. Dinky do to you. I say from Scotty McClue. And we are of course live on Facebook Live. Dave Hemsley's watching. Dinky do to you Dave. I hope you're well. Getting yourself sorted out. So there you are Louis. So we're discussing the word mate. It uh, was something that obviously English people used, London people used. It's actually metalot or metalo from uh, the nautical terms. Mr. Elliot Faber in Nicaragua. Oh, fantastic. Elliot's in Nicaragua. Guys, if you are um, around abroad at all, India, Africa, Canada, America, Australia, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan, Europe, do tell me where you are from. Robert Devlin and seven others there. Fantastic. Simon O is with us. If the word mate never existed, would Marmite ever have taken off? So there you go. Fantastic. The Marmite. We love it. Um, I once won a year's supply. It was only the one jar. Uh, Henry Pollock Newton, uh, dinky do to you. I'm always sorted, says Dave Hemsley. I'm very pleased to hear it. Thank goodness one of us is. Alex Duff's watching Dinky Doo. I put five pounds in the pot, Scotty, as a late birthday present. Ron Stewart, your kindness and your generosity has got no bounds. You have already given very, very kindly and very generously. I thank you. It is so very kind of you. This, uh, instead of a birthday present, I'm saving up for uh, media things. So if you want to pop on to GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, after the program's finished, of course, and pop in something, that would be great. It's Eid tomorrow, says Wadge. Wadge, I had a gentleman saying that he had Eid tonight. <coughs> so there you are, or perhaps he meant tomorrow. True Radio, plugged into Scotty McClue, streaming live, says Henry Pollock Newton. Henry Pollock Newton, this is wonderful, because also we have the privilege of being joined by perhaps the most fantastic radio station I have heard in recent times. Great Yorkshire Radio. So there you are. So those of you who are fed up with uh, Jukebox Radio, the same song's been repeated, presenters who are not allowed to talk for any length of time, presenters who are not allowed any personality links, if you're putting up with networking from different cities 
and towns, and you're putting up with no lack of uh, with with no local radio, a lack of localness. If you're putting up with a lack of local news, if you're putting up with all that, while well, um, the big radio companies head towards duopoly and monopoly, then I would say to you, get yourselves on to Great Yorkshire Radio. I stumbled upon it, discovered it, and uh, I've been uh, chatting to the manager on email, and he said, "Why don't uh, why don't you come and join us?" Uh, live on a Sunday night, so there you go. And I've also done a Periscope, and um, I've done a Facebook Live video to explain to you about this wonderful, wonderful radio station. Three words, get them right embedded into your wonderful mind. Great Yorkshire Radio. There we go. I'm Scott McClure. We're hearing you loud and clear from the Matey Islands in the South Pacific, says Ian. Uh, Cambridge 105, great local station, says Matt Webb. Absolutely, but get yourself on to Great Yorkshire Radio. Nicola Hunter's watching. Dinky do, says Matt. What's happening with our own radio stations for Glasgow in the West, says Paul Wright. Paul, I do not know. I have never heard a thing back. You know, that was to be very big, and then I haven't heard any more about it. So there you go. Uh, so, uh, But as soon as I do, obviously, we will uh, we will spill what's happening you know my ear is always to the ground as you well know if you've just joined us folks a very very warm welcome i'm scotty McClune, known as the world's top broadcaster i'm here every sunday night live on facebook live for one hour of superb scintillating information education and entertainment with not just one nation the nation the united kingdom of great britain and northern ireland but every nation throughout the world and across the globe, dinky-doo to all of you. Spread the word. We'll have a share in a minute. Uh, do you miss Century 105, says Matt Webb? Century 105 doesn't exist any longer, Matt. It's gone over to uh, a different franchise altogether. So there you are. It's called something else, I believe. Uh, John Hodgson, fantastic. We're watching at Great Yorkshire Radio, Scotty. And we've shared you on the page two. Isn't that lovely? Dinky-doo to you, John. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, you'll soon be an inmate, Scotty, says Ian Walker. Fantastic. Craig O'Pray's watching us. That's terrific. You're talking, says Gordon Riley. I am Gordon. Well spotted. Good for you. Gordon's obviously had trouble with his equipment, and he hasn't been able to, uh, to receive. Uh, so there you are. So he's obviously receiving now, and he's delighted. That Scotty McClure is talking. Ron Stewart says, shared. Good evening, Scotty, says Gordon Riley. What about RBS outsourcing jobs to India when the taxpayers bailed it out and it's still 70% owned by the government? Well, 70% owned by us, the taxpayers. What should have happened with RBS, uh, in my opinion, is that they should have issued share certificates to everyone. Everyone should have got even you know, electronically, by via email or whatever, but a share certificate should have come to all the taxpayers or a, a loan note, a loan stock note. And no matter how tiny it is, we have a little, little bit of loan stock. I mean, during the Second World War, people contributed to the war effort and they were given war stock. So there you are. It wasn't worth anything at the end of the war, of course. It had all been gobbled up, but there you are. Uh, is calling someone... Mate, worse than calling me duck, says Steve Burrows. Now, Steve, uh, you're in Nottingham in the Midlands, is that right? So you will say, hey, oh, me ducks. Yes, absolutely. No, I don't know, mate, it's just a bit, it seems a bit strange. I don't particularly care for it uh, if I'm walking down the street in Scotland and people say, oh, mate, you know, all that kind of nonsense. It's used kind of <clears throat> a bit sarcastically. I remember filling up the car and I went in to pay and this rather rude taxi driver shouts to me mate could you move you know and I thought mates I don't know you we haven't been introduced you see SNP losing seats in the general election does that spell an end to the Scottish independence debate no I would say the reason the SNP actually lost the seats were because they didn't push for the the um, thing hard enough 
um, you know, this time round, they didn't include it right at the front of the agenda, if you like. I would have said, we are the party of independence, we are going ahead, we've asked Mrs. May nicely, now the next time, we're going to put pressure on them. She's very patronisingly said, it's now is not the time, patted us on the head, but it is number one on the agenda. So I would have gone for it had it been me. So I don't think um, there's any question. I mean, that was just a lot of unionist nonsense put about by unionist parties and the unionist press. One, that people are fed up hearing about Scottish independence. Not true. Two, Scottish independence is divisive in Scotland. Not true. Three, nobody wants another one. Not true. The last time I actually heard a proper poll, 72% of Scots were up for a second referendum. So there you go. Uh, that's the post. What do you think? Shared, 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 says Watch. Excellent. Scotty, an Irish Republican flute band turned up at the Bannock Bun gathering. I think they got on the wrong bus. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's very entertaining. Uh, Scotty, uh, you're live and loud in Coatbridge, says Steph. Thank you do, Steph. Lovely to be with you all in Coatbridge. And guys, get typing. See, I'm watching Scotty McClue right now. And send it round every single one of your Facebook contacts. Because this is a superb show. All caused by your good selves, of course. And, uh, you know, just because I happen to be fronting it, doesn't mean it's me that makes it a great show. It's you that makes it a great show. So tell everybody, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Tell the world. Get right across Facebook. Scotty, when are you going to Glastonbury? Says Ian Walker. Absolutely. SNP campaign in Midlothian. Uh, I missed that one. The only thing great about Yorkshire is the road out, says Robert Bain, talking nonsense, Robert. What's great about Yorkshire is great Yorkshire radio. So there you are. Fantastic. More news from London tonight. 800 homes have had to move out and relocate into hotels. How about this to save some money? After it's all going to cost a fortune to uh, fix up the buildings, says Gordon. Gordon, I'm not going to press see more because I did once and we lost the whole broadcast. So there you are. Good morning from Australia, Scotty. How are you, says Erica? Good morning, Erica. Dinky do. I take it it's about eight o'clock or half past eight in Australia right now is that correct um i'm in haverhill in the truck dinky do says ron stewart dinky do to you ron scotty after prince harry said about the royal family do you think the queen will be the final monarch not at all after james wright we've had monarchy for two thousand years nothing will change that nor should it they cost us about excuse me a second they cost us about 50 pence a year uh, fantastic value, bring in billions to the British economy. They're lovely, lovely people, have done a fantastic job. How many people do you know still working when you're 91 and your husband's 96? So there you go. So no, no, I think there'll be many, many, many kings to come. We still will have King Charles and then King William and then King George and uh, on we go. So there's a bright future. Scotty, do you think Jeremy, Carbon's, Jeremy Corbyn is a threat to Indy too? Uh, Jeremy Corbyn does need to hear a lot more home truths from Scotland. He definitely does, because he was a little bit negative about Indy Ref uh, during the, the campaign. And of course, while he's obviously going to not be too chuffed, he's going to be dischuffed that his party is virtually annihilated in Scotland because they did not back independence. If he refuses to back independence for Scotland, then I don't think he'll have the walk in the park that he might think he had. Scotty, whatever happened to Wolfgang, says Steph. Wolfgang I still uh, hear from from time to time, and I have seen him on. Can you say my son Scooter Carroll, please? Hi to my son, says Joanne. Of course I can, Joanne. Dinky do, Scooter Carroll. Scotty, how did the Queen not get a ticket? For not having a seatbelt on, she's probably driving in private land, I would think. Uh, besides, remember, it is Her Majesty's law. So I don't think she needs to actually adhere to that. I may be wrong, 
but she is the top lady, so she creates the law. So she couldn't verse herself. You couldn't have the crown versus the crown. Uh, Scotty, if you keep on saying about independence is true, why did the SNP lose so many seats? Why did the Conservatives do so well in Scotland? The rest of us were kicking them out. Fred, Scotland's an interesting one, right? It seems to be a lot of farmers in the North East who were a bit disgruntled. And they'll go on about, I oh, we need to clip the wings of the SNP. That kind of nonsense. But something to do with their farm payments. So they thought they'd vote Tory, which was the silliest thing. Because uh, had they pushed for independence, the economy would improve big time. We need an ace, not a king or queen, says Ian Walker. Ian, you're talking nonsense. Uh, hello, Scotty. I used to listen to you when I was young. I loved your show. I thought you were hilarious. This is Heather Yee, Lundy Kelsall. Heather Yee, Lundy Kelsall. Hopefully we're still hilarious, although this is a different format. Sandy Howden, SNP votes have went down. Do you mean gone down, Sandy? In every election since Indy won. Not at all. Quite wrong as usual, Sandy. I love the way you get so much wrong. Um, well, I don't really. I'm a bit sorry for you, but I mean, it is funny that you get everything you say is nonsense. Um, no, it shot up. We had 56 seats out of 56, uh, 56 seats out of 59 seats in the last election. Uh, Scotty, are we up to date from the Beeb? A young baby's been found alive at Granville after 12 days. Miracles do happen, says Michael Paul McVeigh. This is wonderful news. Bless them, I say. Farmers and fishermen will be sorry for their voting direction, says John Toms. Yes, I think you're right, John Toms, because initially the EU were not helping Scottish fishing if you go back 30 years, but it's all getting sorted now, and um, it's, it's shaking down, and a lot of the fishing is devolved, uh, and agriculture. Agriculture and fisheries was the old office, uh, ag and fish, and uh, therefore I think you're quite right. I think the farmers were very silly to neglect the party that could bring them a proper income. If you want to shout out, put a quid in the pot, says Ron Stewart. Yes, stick a fiver or a pound. Uh, just to tell you about Scotty McClure, a pound, if it's a billion pounds, you need to wait another day if you're putting another billion pounds in. SNP votes have stayed about the same. The volume has remained. The yes vote has increased marginally by around 3%. So there you are, Sandy. It's all up and it's all good. Uh, do the farmers really think the UK government's going to pay them what the EU does? They have a big shock coming, says Alan Smith. Yes, we could have told them that, but these farmers that are sort of law unto themselves and they fell for the nonsense that was coming from unionist parties about um, do the day job, you're neglecting the day job. The only people that have neglected the day job is the Tories. I think they should cancel Brexit and um, get back to doing the day job. That's what we're needing. McClure, can you not find a more trendy or fashionable shirt? Contact my wardrobe people for some help. What is wrong with the shirt? A beautiful shirt, absolutely high fashion. All my stuff's coming back in, Gordon. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, correct, Alan, says John Toms. Total respect to the royal family, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely, Steve, 100%. The country is with them. When Brexit actually happens and the bite happens, there will be a massive surge to the yes vote. It's a pity the people who will be affected in the interim. Yes, I, I do think they should cancel Brexit. I put out this afternoon that and the cost of cancelling Brexit would be an email. Right, somebody didn't quite understand. I don't understand where you're coming from, Scotty. What's the cost? Cost would be an email. In other words, nothing. Uh, 660,000 votes down since Indy won. Um, rubbish, Sandy. I've never had so much nonsense in my life. Indy won was 2014. There's no way there's 660,000 votes down. Um, Scotty, how's the fund me going, says Alan Smith? Well, we've got £400. It's been a little bit static for a while. I think people are a bit anxious. A lot of people don't want to just go for the PayPal. But you can go for the PayPal if you want. If you go onto Scotty McClure's website, and I don't understand why it should be static for any length of time. Because a pound or five pounds, why would you not give that to Scotty McClure? Do you see what I mean? Uh, so that's it. So yes, Alan, it's a challenge because the fact that the economy 
is challenged, but I'm quite confident that we will raise enough money to get the whole media thing started properly. So there we go. Uh, Jim Clark's watching. Prince Harry doesn't want to be king. Uh, so there we are. Um, what, uh, Prince Harry is only in line to be king. He's not going to be king. I'm just trying something, guys. I may stop trying it in a second. But I'm just seeing if we're any better that way. Just bear with me. Is that any better? Do you prefer that? Do let me know what you're all thinking. See if you prefer that um, or if we should go the other way. I think we'll go back to where we are. It's just somebody's talking the other day about the coming up in the letterbox format. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, strange angle, says John Thompson. Yes, yeah, very strange. Uh, need to sleep. I have a wee company to run. Have a great show, says John. Dinky do, John. Off you go, Scottish businessman there, getting to his bobos. Uh, Lord Lucan's just turned up on Go Find Me. <laughs> Very good. Uh, nope, says John Toms. So it's obviously not any better that way. So there you are. So we'll just go back to that one. Excellent. You're upside down, says Steve. I should be back up now, Steve. Is that right? Cheers, says John. Yes, cheers to you, John. All the best. Dinky do. Now, if you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering, who on earth is this guy on Facebook Live? Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, just for you, saying, Dinky Doo, a very, very warm welcome to our listeners and viewers in Great Yorkshire Radio tonight. Dinky Doo to you guys, and enjoy, I say. Tremendous stuff. Uh, your capsize, says Ian Walker. You're upside down, says Eve. Cheers. Steve, quit with the Diana Ross lyrics. Sauce for lateness was letting balloons off. My wee lads, wee pal, passed, who passed away. I'm very sorry to hear that, but a lovely, lovely commemoration, lovely stuff. Are we back up the right way now, folks? Do tell me. Very, very important. I don't want to be standing mad because the blood will all rush to my head. Sauce for the lateness, yes, absolutely. We've got you now, so that's rather good. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. We're talking tonight, should we ban the word meat, right? From, uh, from vocabulary, particularly in Scotland. It doesn't sit too well. Alan says, Scotty, can you give the NHS a big shout out? All the miracles and wonders they do. My missus was gutted. She wasn't here tonight to watch it, but she said she will try and watch your work tonight, says Alan. That's great. Great Yorkshire Radio. Woohoo! Says John. Absolutely, John. Great Yorkshire Radio is probably the country's top radio station now. So there you go. So if you're in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, no matter where you're based, whether you're in Yorkshire or not, because you can get it online at www.greatyorkshireradio.co.uk. You can see it on Twitter at Great Yorks Radio. And uh, you can look it up, get it on your mobile. Fantastic. Great Yorkshire Radio. Tell us the story about your shoes, says Charles McLaughlin. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you're the right way up, says Angie. Scotty, if you could go back in time to a historical event, what would it be? I think I would go back to when... Oh, you, you, you've spoiled me for choice. But I would go back to when Bonnie Prince Charlie nearly made it into London and uh, they sent false intelligence back and he panicked and came back. So he should have pressed on and he would have been the king. I hate that when you meet people and they say, all right, mate, and you don't know them from Adam, says Andrew. Yes. Why is Scotland so important, says Dave Hemsley. I don't know if you're asking me or telling me, David. Scotland is absolutely vital. And the reason it's absolutely vital is it has always run the show. So in 1603, the Scottish king was invited to become the king of England, right? So there you are. So James the sixth of Scotland became James the first of uh, Great Britain. Uh, well, Scotland and England. Never hear a word, mate, in Manchester. I thought it was a nautical term. It is nautical, Fred. Uh, have a great, have great Yorkshire radio. Bound you a few quid. No, Robert, they certainly have not. What Great Yorkshire Radio have done has been a fantastic radio station. And I chose to back them. So there you are. Um, because I thought this law are actually doing 
what radio should be. They are the radio station everybody's been searching for for the past five or ten years. I've listened to Great Yorkshire Radio and it's really good stuff, says Dave Murad. Thanks for your support, Dave, says John. I'm asking, says Dave Hemsley. Well, I'm telling you, Dave. So that's absolutely fine. They've always been vital because Scottish inventors, everything you find virtually that's been invented has been invented by a Scot. James Watt with his steam engine, condensing steam engine, Dunlop with the tyres, McAdam with the roads, Graham Bell, Alexander Graham Bell with the telephone, uh, you know, Robert uh, Watson Watt with radar, um, all that sort of stuff. Everything that's advanced us, uh, there's usually a Scot behind it somewhere. The great big shipping companies started uh, built up and run by the Scots. Uh, started run and built up with the Scots. That was Lord George Murray, Scotty, who turned tail. Uh, yes, yes, he did, but Charlie was down as well. Charlie turned tail too. He got to Derby, and then he turned tail at Derby. Uh, please give a shout out to Mike Oxlong. Big fan of your show, says Matt. Mike Oxlong, I say dinky do to you, and a very warm welcome to the program. Radio Carline's back. And as good as ever, says Fred Wilson. Yes, yes, I have heard it. Very good. But Great Yorkshire Radio is the one for you, Fred. <coughs> Scotland's important because of the crankies, says Robert Bain. Do you know, it was very interesting when people were trying to do um, the crankies down uh, and trying to do Nicola down, trying to be funny, I thought to myself, do you know, this is fantastic because both Nicola and the crankies do have something in common. They're very, very highly professional people who are very, very popular with the people. There you go. So there you've, you've got, you have it straight now, guys. Uh, what's your favourite food, Captain? Says George Raffin. Quite fond of the mince and tatties, George. Like the fish and chips, very fond of them. Get down to Alberta's at Thornley Bank in Glasgow. Um, Michael McGuigan, dinky do to you. Jim McIntyre's watching. So fantastic stuff, yes. But uh, lots of favourite foods. A wee bit of steamed pudding, that kind of stuff. Although I must, I'll have to drop back on the cards a wee bit and get myself back into my athletic state, you know. Cheers. Ooh. Now, time for a big share every day. So, if you're watching Scotty McClue, if you're listening to the Scotty McClue show right now, if you're live on Facebook Live, big style, can I suggest that we all share? Share, 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 share. Get on with that. Uh, mind the time, Nicola. Um, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Nicola fell in a freezer on a well known supermarket, Angie. Know what you're talking about? John Hewson's watching. What a fine fella. Great sales guy, John. Great radio manager. Wonderful stuff. Dinky do to him, I tell you. Um, when do you think the PM may will quit, says Alan? Well, she's on a bit of a lee shore. She's brassed it out by staying. But she may have found it was quite easy to stay. They built her up. The 1922 lot were saying, oh, yes, she's, uh, yes, she's really, although the election was a shamble, she really redeemed herself, that sort of stuff. But I hope she's fly for the fact, right? Because, I mean, this is a lady, this is a human being, right? So a human being with feelings like the rest of us. But I just hope that they're not saying, you stay in and take all the mucky stuff, dear. And once you've taken it all, we'll then pop in one of our own. That kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Because we all know that that political lot, they're a slippery bunch. And, uh, you know, that's what you're getting now. You're not getting that strong ethics thing. No, you can't do that. You can't stab somebody in the back like that. Metaphorically speaking, of course. You can't stab somebody in the back. That's not the way to do business. You know, that lot, you know, they they, they, they would, you know. I mean, half of them I wouldn't trust to sit the right way around in the lavatory. And that's all politicians. Uh, that's you, the moonshine again, Scotty. I want you back on the radio. I miss the banter and the wind-ups. Says Robert, quite right. Well, I wouldn't mind getting back on the radio, Robert, but as I say, the problem with the radio is it's jukebox radio. They don't have space for a top talk show. But there we are. But that's why I've chosen Great Yorkshire Radio. I stumbled upon it because um, it's a fantastic radio station. 
So there you are. Scotty, if you have the new 500 route all round the north of Scotland, it's a magic route, says Ian Walker. Yes, indeed. I'm fading away to an elephant, Scotty. So much for the clouty dumplings, says George Raffin. Well, I'm away down to 20 stone myself, George, so, you know, it does happen. Enter Mr. Corbin in the near future, says Dave. A great possibility, Dave, although he will have to get Scotland right. He's got to do some serious work on uh, getting to know Scotland, getting to know Nicola, agreeing that they should definitely look at the independence thing, making sure Scotland gets a much, much better deal than it's been getting for the last 310 years. Uh, you know, Scotland's got to let Mr. Corbyn know that they're well aware of the fact that, uh, you know, they're keeping England alive financially. Uh, Scotty, why the whiskey workers on strike? The industry's a boom state. Uh, so is it just greed again from the bosses? Ian, I wouldn't like to comment on the whiskey industry because the whiskey industry is incredible. It brings in billions in revenue and it's obviously very highly regulated. If you go around a distillery, you see all the little padlocks on the stills and all the rest of it as the Uskibar, the water of life, flows, uh, you know, into the uh, still. So uh, we'll see what happens. Nonsense, says Dave Hemsley. Dave, remember I've educated you from, you know, the moment you grew up. So there you go. Ban the new one-point coins. We can't use them in the supermarket trolleys anymore. Remember my father coming home with a supermarket trolley and saying, not bad for a quid. Uh, so there you go. We thought he was losing it. No, my grandfather. There we go. Uh, get rid of the football phone ends, too many of them, and put you back on, says Angie Thompson. Well, Angie, even on a very basic level, people want somebody to chat to at night, and McClue certainly um, fitted the bill, no doubt about it. Um, LBC is not bad, uh, that's talk shows, yeah, but that's London, and very London orientated. You know, we need stuff that covers all of England, all of Scotland, and the rest of the world. Henry Pollock Newton, I want the angels share whiskey. Uh, I grew up long before your education, says Dave Hemsley. Yes, but you hadn't grown up intelligence-wise till you heard me. Then you learned, and you learned, and you learned. So don't tell me nonsense. Rain today is tomorrow's whiskey, says Ian Walker. Absolutely, Ian. Very, very fair point. So, but uh, distilleries, I mean, they're so well run. You pass them, you look at them, beautiful places. Incredibly well looked after. If you were on Radio 1, that would make an impact and make me tune in, says Alan. Alan, you'll never believe I was speaking at a radio conference and the controller of Radio 1 turned up to hear me and I realised probably the reason he turned up was because I had such a massive, massive youth audience and still would have. So there you are. Young people love Scotty McClue. Uh, do you think radio's become too regulated and overproduced? Yes, I do, Dave. I mean, what we do at nights on the radio, as you well know, the Scotty McClue phone in. People just ring in and we talk and we deal, excuse me, quick wipe down. We deal with the calls on their merits. And that's how it should be done. You deal with the call on its merits. If somebody's talking absolute shecht, off they jolly well go. What's the problem with that? Um, so, uh, do you think radio... Yes, I do, Dave. I think it's become uh, over-regulated. Although it's going to get deregulated in the future. I'll tell you more about that as and when. Ooh. Quick slap of tea. Lovely. Marvellous stuff. Uh, guys, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome to you. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the world's great broadcast platform. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. The Scotty McClue show going out globally. We have people watching in Australia, Japan, Canada, America. Marvellous stuff. Um, and uh, keep your calls coming. Let us know what as well. Not your calls, your comments. Keep your comments coming, I say. If you wonder what we're discussing tonight, then uh, we're discussing the term mate. Should we ban the term mate? And should we unfriend and unfollow our Facebook people that call us mate? 
I tend to unfriend and unfollow the swearers because there's a lot of young people watching my column. So when I see people uh, effing and jeffing, I usually just blank them. Uh, so there we are. That's what I do. Scotty, what do you think of Donald Trump? Should we be afraid of this guy? Very difficult. We haven't really got a handle on him yet, Steph. We will do. But, uh, you know, he's obviously um, all the twists and turns of all the stuff he's coming out with. Uh, but we won't have the impact of him. Do you know, if a chief executive of one of the big corporations makes a decision about strategic change, it probably won't kick in for a number of years. You know, it, could, it can take up to 12 years sometimes before it kicks in. Scotty, if you lose the Scottish accent, LBC would snap you up, Giza. Uh, lol, says, Whoa, do you mean you're talking like that all the time? Good evening. Welcome on the radio. Scotty McClue here. Called Scotty because I used to be, my family was Scottish. I now talk like this on the radio all the time. So there we are. Bob Ryan Higgs watching. Uh, Scotty, do you know the exact amount we send to the UK? I bet it's a lot more than we get back. Of course it is. We send £40 billion per annum. So there you are. The Barnett formula, that seriously needs looked over. Called after, I think, Lord Barnett, Joel Barnett, I think it was. Yes, he was a, a BBC governor. Uh, so they uh, whoa, I'll lose more Scottish accent. What are you on about? Um, so there we are. David Lafferty is watching. Barbara Ann Haig. Lol, as is Ian Walker. Nonsense, says Dave Hemsley. That's all you say, Dave Hemsley, is nonsense. Because you don't like when I tell you the facts. Uh, so there we are. All right, Oliver. Yeah, so Ian Walker. Yeah. Why don't we do this and see if we get a show down in London, eh? There we are. I did phone... Um, a television company based down there, and uh, the programmer, I said, Scotty McClure, and he went, hello, Scotty, and I said, do you fancy putting the show on? And he went, no, you have a Scottish accent, and all that. Is, but what he didn't realise was a Scottish accent in London, and ban the Cockneys from footing in, you'd be away, you'd be made, absolutely. Uh, who have we got here? All right, all of it. Yeah, no problem at all, I say. Now, what have we got? Um, ooh, coming up to 20 minutes to 11 o'clock, folks. We have to finish in 20 minutes. Time is tight. Uh, who have we got here? You've got to pick a pocket or two, says Henry Pollock Newton. Well, the Tories certainly believe that, don't they? I can tell you that for nothing. My friend was saying he was down in London. There was a news agent, and they had a sign and saying, no more than two MPs in the shop at one time, please. Um, so there we are. You should come and work in Staffordshire, Scotty. So Dave Hemsley, Staffordshire's beautiful. I've been on the radio in Staffordshire. I was on um, on Signal, Signal Radio in Staffordshire, down in Stoke. You'll be all right in half a sixpence, Scotty. Yeah, half a sixpence, yeah. Boom, bang, a bang, all that stuff. Uh, so there we are. Staffordshire is certainly very lovely, Dave. I have to say, a very fine part of the world. Leek, do you know Leek? There we are, all the leeks in Staffordshire, isn't it? And um, also, I was down a little bit further south, probably, at um, got a massive cathedral where Dr. Johnson came from. Um, Litchfield. Litchfield, yeah. I've got to laugh at the English when they think they pay for us. I wonder if England had an indirect, would the political parties tell them the truth of what Scotland contributes? What I would quite like to see is get everybody voting on Indiref, and uh, I think they would want uh, they would want Scotland to go because if they're convinced it costs them, you know. But the truth is, trust me on this: any British government that had to pay out for Scotland would have backed Indiref, right? But they're hanging on to us like a ball and chain. Uh, so there you go. Yes, uh, Scotty. Do you think the kids nowadays get far too many holidays? Well, the only thing is, uh, you know, I think that parents would like the children to get less holidays so that they don't have to make holiday arrangements for them. That's the thing. But I think the children probably need the holidays. If I could go back in time to uh, add 154, I would shout out, Hoy Caesar! 
Watch your back, mate. So there you are. Well, you see, there's another date you could go back to. Winston Churchill said, Only the ancient Greeks had contributed more to civilization than the Scots. There you are, Dave Hemsley. Um, now, bedtime. Good show, Scotty. Five pounds in the pot for you, Ron Stewart. I can't thank you enough. It's very, very, very generous of you. Guys, if you're financing Scotty McClue for the show, then uh, remember you can go to paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. Or you can go to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You can stick in a pound as the minimum you can put in. Any less than a pound, I'm afraid. And um, we, we, we don't take that off you. So a pound minimum, but if you're putting in a billion pounds and you wanted to put another billion pounds in, you need to wait till tomorrow. Just appraising you of the rules there, guys. Thank you, Ron Stewart. Off to your bobos. And many, many thanks. Sweet dreams. Uh, Scotty, do you know Scottish football teams used to play in the FA Cup? Says Martin Monaghan. Martin, there's never a dull moment on here. Every day is a school day. And um, what period are we talking about, by the way? Share time, says Alan Smith. Yes, indeed, Alan. Share, 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 share. <coughs> it's like the early days of commercial television. If you've just joined us and you're with Great Yorkshire Radio, you have got a fantastic radio station there, guys. Great Yorkshire Radio. I stumbled upon it recently. I've been listening, and it is a wow. It knocks all other radio stations, regardless of where they are, into a cocked hat. So there you go. And you know what a cocked hat was and where it came from? What's your thoughts about the government not funding the air ambulance? I think they should definitely fund the air ambulance because the way this country is, there's lots of rural areas. It doesn't matter if you're in Cornwall or you're in uh, the north of Scotland, you're in Orkney or Shetland, You've got to get to hospital fast, and you need air ambulances to do that. Here's another thing. You could be in central London, maybe have an accident with a motorcycle or something like that. Fractured bones, spine, anything like that. Air ambulance right in, right down in central London. All these things. The Scots took the Greeks plates and made them out of metal, says Ian Walker. <laughs> So, what nonsense are we getting here? Terrible, Steve Burrows, says Dave Hemsley. What are you talking about, David Hemsley? You need to come on and front up here. Uh, don't be having conversations with, uh, with all the other viewers and listeners. Front up, I say. Right, have we all shared? Has everybody shared? Come on, I'm not seeing enough shares. I've just joined you. Uh, I'm horribly late, Scotty, says Dino the Dog. Dear the dog, you are horribly late. We start at 10 o'clock sharp. Never ever miss a second of Scotty McClure, or you miss a moment of life. Did you bring a note, or have you got a very good excuse, or even an explanation? Because there's no excuse for missing Scotty McClure. We'd love to see the Scottish Government being the first to fund the lifeboats. As an ex true man, I know what kind of work goes on in trying to raise funds. So do I. I did a lot of my life collecting for the lifeboats. Good to hear Cornwall mentioned. I'm listening in West Cornwall. So you're in West Cornwall. Now, are you talking Elston or Mousel? Round about there, Sithney. Whereabouts in Cornwall are you? That's what I want to know. Uh, if you're West, of course, you but no, you might be. I'm just thinking, if you're West, you're probably getting right down to uh, St. Austell and down there. Is that right? So there you are. Oh, I, I, I sweat like a pig this afternoon because I had chicken soup for my dinner. Right, I donate every month to keep the air ambulance flying, says Lynn Kay. Dinky-doo to you, Lynn Kay, and thank you for that. Thank you for everything that you all do. Do you know the dog? A five-pound note. Scotty, what's half of one nine nine? What's half of one nine nine? Ninety nine and a half, isn't it? I would have thought. 
So there we are. Am I right? Uh, 291, 18, 99, 18, that's 98, 99 and a half. Is that right? Am I going to write? Our Amos and Mr. Wilkes DGs in DJs in Yorkshire. Amos and Mr. Wilkes. Remember Amos and Mr. Wilkes when it was called Emmerdale Farm? Emmerdale Farm. Uh, YouTube subscriptions, uh, over 900, soon to be 1,000, to broadcast on there, Scotty. A bigger platform too. Yes. Now, can every single one of you put into your Google at the end of this program, Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Go on it and click subscribe. Thank you. Uh, much appreciated. Spot on, says Adam M. Fuller. Dinky do to you, Adam M. Fuller. Very much appreciated. I wonder if you managed to do that little task for me that I was asking. It would be so much appreciated. No pressure. But there we are. It'd be lovely because I've got it up on my uh, setup, you see. Camburn, not too far from St. Ives, says Ben Lucas. Well, I like that, Ben. That's good. Do you like my accent? Is it Cornish at all? Uh, Scotty, did you know Elton John was in Airdrie last night, says Steph? I didn't, Steph. How fantastic. I'm a big fan. Tremendous. Candle in the wind. Uh, so there we go. Uh, keep them coming, guys. Let's have a share. Uh, probably the last share until 10 o'clock. So share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Type in to say I'm watching Scotty McClure. Live on Facebook Live, the big one, the big broadcast platform. Uh, I will be popping on to Periscope just to report on this program afterwards, guys. Scotty, once you hit a thousand subscriptions, you should start to get paid with the advert scheme. This is Alan Smith. Excellent, Alan. I'm not familiar with what goes on, but uh, every little helps. It's all appreciated. Uh, we'll keep trying, I promise, says Adam. Thanks, Adam. They'll probably give you the uh, the setup that you need for it. Do you know the Doug? Do you think single mothers should be allowed a double bed on the social? Well, maybe if you are a single mother, you should be getting a single bed, a bed to match your singleness. Scotty, how can Ruth the Muth get an honorary colonel? Is this a new board game I've missed? No periscope makes this no work. Uh, so, no, Periscope makes this no work, says Dan McWilliams. No, Dan McWilliams. It certainly does not. Please do not panic. That is not at all what actually happens. People people get the wrong end of the stick. It's so very, very strange. So they are. But don't worry, Dan. It's nothing to do with that. But if all of you can go on to Scotty McClue YouTube channel and click subscription, you need to actually... Be registered on YouTube, I believe, to do it. So I could understand why I'd had something like, I don't know, is it 295,000 views? 295,000 views and about, uh, you know, 900 subscribers when I need a 1,000. So if I can get that, that would be tremendous. And of course, guys, every single one of you get on to Great Yorkshire Radio. I've done a specific Facebook Live piece and I've done a specific Periscope piece, and I've uploaded them both onto YouTube. So if you go onto YouTube, you'll see all the Facebook Live videos that we've done on there. By the way, this is show number 40, the 40th show. Now that's pretty good, isn't it? This was a mate of mine rang up and said, have you tried Facebook Live? Here we are with hundreds of thousands of viewers down the line, and we're at our 40th show. Also, News flash, get this round your mind. Scotty McClue is 25 years old. The Scotty McClue show is 25 years old tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp. So get that spread about as well. Um, what have we got here? Scotty, my missus has just walked in in sexy underwear. Please get on, you're talking to me. Yes, absolutely, of course I am. And you can have a, a sneak peek. As they say, Ian. Love the show, Scotty. Um, do you think I'll be able to listen to you from Gia next Sunday, says Doreen Rennick. Yes, I should think you'll be able to hear me on Gia. I was thinking about going to Gia. Fantastic. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, yes, you should be able to get us, Doreen. So good luck with that. I'm sure there'll be good internet on Gia. 
because uh, it's the kind of place that would really benefit from it. Have you had a Geely piece? Says Adam M. Fuller. I could sing you the whole of the Geely piece song, Adam M. Fuller. So there you are. Of course I've had a Geely piece. Uh, Scott A., could I pinch a couple of stuff from your YouTube channel for a video? Says Alan Smith. Depends what it is, Alan. Draw me a wee email, scotty at scotty-mcclue.com. See what we can do. Wow, 40 shows already, says the wonderful Jane MacDonald, a delightful lady who's watched a number of Scotty McClue shows. And I say to you, Jane, dinky do. So there we are. They should bring in a double bed tax for single mothers, says Dina the Doug. There you go. What about that? Hope you pop up tomorrow for a celebration of 25 years with a wee drinky as well, says Ben Lucas. 25 years, Ben. 36,000 hours of unscripted broadcasting on television and radio on 30 radio stations in major markets throughout the United Kingdom. So Scotty McClue is a household name. And I once emailed a guy I'd sat beside for two years in radio and I emailed him and said, how do you fancy getting in touch so we can have a chat, see if you want to take a show? He never even emailed back. And we joked and laughed together for two years. Right, uh, for an Indie 2 video for giving out info. All oh, right, yes, absolutely, Alan, yes. If you want to take the snippets of what we've been saying, yes, do, do, yes. Sort it. Don't worry about emailing me. Check your Facebook messages, Scotty. I sent you a video, says Dan McWilliams. Good man, Dan. Uh, excellent stuff. Scotty, can you please tell women drivers to stay off the roads during the week when the men are working? They are a terrible hindrance, says Steph. Now, the only thing I find with the women drivers, Steph, is you signal them, you give them the lights, they don't go. You signal them again, you give them the lights, they don't go. You slow down. Give them the lights again. They go when it's dangerous. Oh! Uh, so there you are. Are you going to work for Yorkshire Radio, Scotty, says Steve Burrows? No plan, Steve. I stumbled upon Great Yorkshire Radio and I thought, this station is doing it big time. I need to tell the nation about this wonderful station, Great Yorkshire Radio. So uh, no plans, though. I mean, I just... I did speak to uh, um, one of the management just to tell him that his, his stuff was great. And uh, they said, well, you know, we can uh, we can also uh, pop your show on our Facebook, Scotty. Uh, it's not a problem. So I thank Great Yorkshire Radio for their kindness. Marvellous stuff. Fantastic setup. Uh, but uh, as I say, no plans. But you never know what the future might hold because the way radio is going, so-called mainstream radio is really very poor these days in what it gives the audience. Great Yorkshire Radios, they've got it right. It's radio as it should be, you know. Uh, who have we got? Scotty, a wee Ned was jumping about in my garden wearing a baseball cap, rugby shot and football boots, and I shouted, Hey, what's your game? <laughs> uh, fantastic. Steve Burrows, are you going to work for Yorkshire Radio, Scotty? Alan, Thanks, says Alan. Uh, my missus stops every single roundabout, even when it's clear, says Dan McWilliams. Yes, it's a different thing. It's a survival thing the ladies have got. I'm almost sure of it. Have you ever seen a white van woman, says Dina the Doug. No, Dina the Doug, I'll tell you. Guys, time for a share. Quick, quick, quick. Share, 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 because you didn't all share. I can see if you've all shared. You didn't all share the last time. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Right, uh, we need you here, says Steve Burrows. Yes, yes. No, I shan't be giving up my Facebook on a Sunday night, so there you go. Uh, mainstream radio is like an endless CD on a loop. Very boring and very commercialised, says Dan McWilliams. Well, you will not find that at Great Yorkshire Radio, I can tell you. Jane McDonald and 15 other lovely people have just shared the video. Come on, let's have 30. Now, guys, during the week, random shares all the time. But I don't want you thinking, you know, I love when I see 102 people have liked your video. I want to see 102 people have shared your video and have loved 
the video. It was a great laugh because somebody said, why do you like your own comments, Scotty? said, because there's not a love button. Now they've brought in a love button. So I love my comments. Somebody said, why do I use capital letters when I'm writing a comment? Because every word I utter is vitally important. So there you are. If you go on Yorkshire Radio, would you have a Yorkshire accent? Aye, I might just do that, Dave Murad. I might just have a Yorkshire accent, like, and talk about that all the way through programme. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, do say hello to Tony Max, says Alan Hall, I will. Have you tried North Sound Scotty? Rather here in the morning than hearing about rubbish. Rather hear you in the morning than hearing about rubbish. Lol. So there you are. So get on, give them a call. Come on, would you like the Scotty McClue National Breakfast Show? Uh, another great show, Scotty, as usual, says Steve Burrows. I thank you, Ian Walker, and 18 beautiful people have just shared this video. How tremendous is that? Rock Radio is good. It's supposed to be coming back 96.3. Yes, 96.3. We're just apparently waiting for them to launch. And I was one of the ones that pushed for that franchise when it was handed back. It so should be re-advertised. like to see it re-advertised. That would be magic, says Alan Smith. Ah, national, uh, national show in morning. Breakfast show like, you know. Uh, so there we are. Yes, Scotty McClue's breakfast program. I had hoped I would get offered the Terry Wogan slot when Tell retired. Because uh, that would have been good for me, you see. Uh, and good for the nation, good for the nation. Uh, it was two Yorkshiremen that invented copper wire, fighting over a penny, not two Scotsmen. Ah, but you see, they say the Scotsmen could split penny, Yorkshiremen could split a penny. Split it we, yeah. Try Scott FM, Scotty. Uh, Scott FM's gone, do you know the Doug? That's a great idea, Scotty. Dinky do FM. I'd love to hear that in the morning, says William Winsborough. Welcome, William. Lovely to have you with us. Two minute warning, says Alan Smith. Is it? <coughs> oh, yes. We have to finish in two minutes. And uh, I hope George Mullins listening because uh, we're going to have the song. I take great pleasure in singing the song. Because I have such a fantastic singing voice, you see. So there we are. So we're singing the song. Cheers, Sal, says William. Thank you to Will you, William. Cheers to you. Fantastic. Now, guys, instructions before we finish up, right? Can every single one of you share and share and share and share and share this as if it was, uh, you know, going the, the last thing to be selling, last thing to be selling. Theresa May could waive the rights to 95% of British waters after Brexit fishermen fear, says Henry Pollock Newton. Yes. Mon the hoops, says Steph McElhenney. Yes, absolutely. Scotty, I watched a program about Mothman that turns up before a disaster. I'll be watching the PM questions now. Uh, Ron Stewart, 20 others have just shared the video. That's fantastic. Everybody, if you weren't one of the ones that shared, please share now it's so important this is your program i'm building a program for all of us i'm building a program for you all right i'm just the front man you are the people capiche message getting through penny dropping all that sort of stuff La love the songs as alan smith uh, so tremendous it was two Scotsmen that split the atom. They thought it was an apple. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, so YouTube, Scotty McClure YouTube channel, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClure. Every single one of you, get on and follow me. Lights out in mates. So there we are. William Winsbrand, 21 others have just shared. How fantastic are you? Right, I'm going to push off. Are you ready? <clears throat> Here is the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A waiter, zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Tell our love, celebrate 25 years of Scotty McClue. Dinky-doo, Scotty McClue.